Alright Vlummers, today we're going to make some peach jelly jam, whatever. Um, yeah, no pectin, good stuff. Check it out, go with me. Alright guys, so we're going to be um, uh, making jam today uh, out of these peaches right quick. And uh, it's really good. It's really, y'all need to try this. Um, it's good stuff. But first thing you want to do is you got to peel them. So, you know. So I'm just going to get this stock pot right here. And I'm going to fill it up with water. I know you guys can't see that, but trust me, it's happening. See? Now, the sexy farmer has decided to pick up the camera. Because, you know. So we're just going to fill it up with water, we're going to get it boiling. I've already got my uh, canning water over there, it's heating up. We're going to put it in half pints today, um, that's what we got. I think it should be about six, maybe eight half pints. About five pounds of peaches. Put that on high, put the lid on it for a minute. All right. Now, if you watch some of my other videos, let me hold tightly onto this. This is my sharp knife. I'll not be throwing it around today. I prefer to keep my toes right where they are on my feet. So anyway, what we're going to do is uh, I'm just going to lightly cut, right, just a little, <laughs> just a little, uh, little cut all the way around. You can't hardly see it. You, you'll be able to tell better when I when it boils, but you just cut it around it this way and then around it this way. Uh, you don't have to cut all the way to the core or nothing, just just a little, just a little cut, you know. Um, yeah, I got these from uh, just the grocery store. Um, we don't have our peach trees up or nothing yet, and, if, and, as, soon, and as soon as we get them up, it's going to be, you know, three to five years before they ever produce anything. So. We're just having to do what we can do with what we have. Um, like I said, we're this is a relatively new homestead we're trying to build out here. Uh, not only is this a new homestead, we are new homesteaders. Um, uh, we're, we're just starting out with this stuff. Now, I've, I've canned stuff before in my life. I've made jellies. Um, usually I make hot jelly. That was kind of my thing. So I'm, I'm not completely new to that concept. I'm just new to the homesteading concept, and uh, I figure we can learn something together here. Uh, you know, I'll go along for the ride. Alright, so I'll finish these up, get them cut, and then I'll, I'll bring, you, bring you in. So, hang on just a minute. Just a minute. It's going to be a minute. So what we did was I got this water boiling and now I'm just putting them in there, whole, uh, and we're going to let them cook, cook, blanch. We're just going to heat them up. I'll pull them out, strain them, and then I'll, I'll show you that step in just a minute. Alright guys, so we've got them plenty cooled off and uh, now we're just going to peel them. And as you can see, the peeling just comes right off. Look at that. Comes right off. right off. Real simple, real easy to do. And you can see the little cut marks from where the where I cut it there at the beginning. And so it comes off in you know little pieces or whatever. We're just saving the saving the skins for the chickens for right now. Alright we'll get back to you in just a minute. Y'all hang out it's gonna be this long quick fast and in a hurry we'll be right back all right Vlamers so uh, I got this ninja I already started it and I forgot I forgot to get you guys take you along for the ride I don't know what I was thinking sorry here look so uh, I put uh, eight halves so four total peaches uh, we still have whole peaches over here right but um, we're going to 
um, puree these. Now I put a whole apple, um, just a regular apple in there. Um, I used a sweet apple, I think it's a gala, is what we have anyway. Uh, yeah, I put, uh, I put a whole apple in there, and the reason I done it with skin and all. But the reason I done that is because we're not going to use um, store bought pectin. We're just going to use the pectin that's in the fruit uh, naturally. So I'm going to puree it and, so that we can have a, little, a lot of liquid, you know, to start with. And then of course the the peach, the whole peaches, they'll break down and turn into pretty pretty mushy. Uh, I'll show you in just a second. All right, let's, let me do this. It's going to be loud, so I'll get with you in just a second. So hang on. So here's what we're going to do. We put the rest of them in here, uh, the halves in there, and we're going to put three cups uh, sugar. So one, two, a little bit less than three, I guess. Two and three quarters ish. Sounds about right. All right. And then this, uh, this, okay, not everyone has a ninja. Um, the sexy farmer brought it to my attention, but not everyone is going to have one of these. You can do this in a regular food processor or a regular blender, whatever. Um, this is not a paid endorsement for this, but if you can get one of these, these things are bad, but like for real, it, they're awesome. I love it. It's, we've had ours for a minute. We even have the little bullet one too. It's, anyway, yeah, get, get one. If you, if you do it, make it happen. Right, let me get this laid out of here. Look that in the seat. All right, so we're just gonna pour that right in there. Right? And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna look in here like as if I was gonna get something and it's not there. So you can see there's quite a bit of liquid already in there. Again, that's kind of what we want to start with so that we can uh, let me this down. so that we can get started in the right direction with liquidifying this stuff. I'm also going to put about um, roughly about two tablespoons, one, two tablespoons of lemon. Now, uh, a thing that I put in the, the processor uh, that I did not show you was I put about four tablespoons, three tablespoons of, of white vinegar in, in the Ninja. And I did that just for the, the liquid so that it would, you know, not just stick to the sides. Um, it's not necessary, you don't have to. Um, so that's why I'm adding, I added that acid, but really I, I guess I didn't need to, is what I'm trying to say. But but it's fine if you do, it's no big deal. Um, either way, it'll can, because uh, there's plenty of acid in there. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description to the, uh, the federal canning guy. Look, y'all, again, You've heard this on my other videos. If you haven't, go check them out. But this, I can't, I don't want to call this an instructional video. If y'all decide to do this, go on ahead. But don't come to me later if something goes wrong. That's all I'm saying. Because I love you. That's what it is. Because uh, H2OK Farm loves its subscribers. Please don't uh, get yourself or somebody else sick because you ain't following the rules. There's rules. I'm probably not following any of those rules. So, anyway, all right, so there's that. Now, we're just gonna kind of get this mixed up. As it gets heated, uh, the bigger peaches will begin to soften. Uh, and it's kind of chunky. I probably should have cut this down, but I wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking. Anyway, I should have cut them down. But when they, when they begin to heat up, they'll, they'll soften considerably. Uh, and then we're just going to take a little potato masher, which is right here. Sexy Farmer's on it, man. she got this all plugged in. Anyway, we're going to take this and just mash it, right? Just like you would potatoes. Um, yeah, actually, they'll, they'll mash right now. <laughs> now, if you want it to be chunkier, 
you can cut them and then not mash them. Just cut them to the size you want. Or you can mash them lightly. Or if you want it more runny, uh, you can um, put them all in, in your food processor or your Ninja or whatever and uh, puree them. But I think basically what I'm saying is there's about 9,463 different ways to make this. This is the way I make it. All right. So let's get that to a boil, and then uh, we'll get back with you in just a second. All right, we'll see you in just a second. All right, once it starts boiling, about like that, uh, you'll want to start stirring it. <clears throat> now, that's the crucial part. You want to stir it pretty much continuously to make sure that it doesn't scorch and burn and stick to the bottom. And we're going to do that for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to start my timer, 10 minutes, let's go. Now, after about three and a half hours of stirring, you're going to look at the clock and realize it's only been like a minute, maybe two. Don't get tired, don't give up, just keep turning. Just keep stirring it. You're going to be all right. It's, it'll be all right. It's mandatory. It's got to happen this way. You have to stir it. Keep stirring it. See? Stir, stir, stir. All right. We'll check back with you in just a minute. All right. I got it to the consistency that I want. So uh, I've got all my jars out here. Uh, they've all been sanitized. We're gonna spoon it in here, I'll show you right now. We're just gonna go to about a quarter inch from the uh, top of the jar, and that should be plenty. And we're gonna do that to every one of them. Don't forget to wipe the rims. Make sure you get all the excess stuff off. So then when you put the lid on, Makes a good seal, and then just finger tight. That's it. And then we'll take this little hook thing and we'll drop it right down into the water, just like, whoop, just like that. All right, we'll get back to it. Just a second. We're not gonna put that little baby lid on there because that's the wrong one. We're gonna put this one on there, and it is currently boiling. So you want to make sure that you don't start your timer until after it starts to boil like that, really vigorously boiling. Um, for this particular product, it should take about 10 minutes. This is a water bath, so about 10 minutes, roughly. And then we'll come back, I'll pull them out, let the lids pop, and then enjoy. I'll show you, just a second here. So you wanna wait until those pop down, and when they do, that's it, man. You can put these anywhere you want. You can put them in the fridge, or you can put them in the closet, Put them in your basement. I wouldn't suggest carrying, you know, storing them in the sun, but uh, they'll last for probably a year or better. All right, farmers. So here's what happens. Top is down. You can tell by pushing on it. So you push on it, nothing happens. This is the half jar that I just am going to keep for myself. And you can see. There you go. You see it. So this one will not do that because it's already popped all the way down. So it's done. That is canned peach jam. It is awesome, amazing. It tastes wonderful. If you like the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you got something to ask or say, do that in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you've never been here before or if you are not yet subscribed, subscribe for more videos like this and many, many others. And we really appreciate you. This is Nathan and the sexy farmer behind the camera with h2ok.farm.com. Y'all be good.